The payment system is very exciting in Africa. I mean, it's set for huge growth in terms of trajectory, right? So McKinsey estimated by year 2025, you have at least hit 40 billion. But very inefficient. I, if you look at the traditional financial system landscape, and if financial inclusion is in is like 12% in Africa or less than 20%, then it means that the cost of doing financial transactions is firstly is very high. And secondly, many people are outside of that system. So you're not within that system and it makes uh, financial transactions very, very tough. But if you look at the beauty of blockchain, uh, it is a public infrastructure that everybody can get access to. Unlike banking hours, there's a certain time uh, within a day, Monday to Fridays. This is a 24-7 system that you can access at any point, point in time. And you can transact, you can send payments, you can send remittance at a fraction of the cost of what you incur uh, via the traditional financial landscape. So that's the beauty of it. Uh, if you if you do a remittance, I think for those that use banks would know that you have to go through one or two correspondent banks with three three days before the recipient re receive it. In blockchain, it's instantaneous. 